your weather authority. We warn you first. Here comes a cooler and drier air, and with that, gusty winds have been shaking the camera at times and have been blowing things around. We do notice that things are fairly quiet right now. The winds have subsided just a little bit with mostly clear skies right now in Odessa. Temperatures are dropping as we speak in the low to mid 40s, but they're going really not climb much for the rest of the day. In fact, they're going to drop for majority of the day. Let's switch gears. Take a look at this week's weather photo winner. Thanks to Catlin Thorson, who sent in a beautiful sunset photo on Monday the 7th. And could you see that? The Guadalupe Mountains, there's snow and ice on the ground here in the foreground in the shaded area and also in the foothills in those shady areas in the background. You can see Catlin it's actually posing here, so really cool stuff there. Ever since the past couple of weeks, most of the snow and ice has since melted because of the warm conditions, and now the conditions are drier in those soils because of, again, the very dry conditions we've been seeing, and combined with gusty winds, we have been seeing blowing dust and also some storms firing off yesterday in the Midland and Odessa area all originated here in the Guadalupe Mountains has since moved off to the north and east fairly quickly. We had some storm reports as well in Andrews County, a 67 mile per hour wind gust. That's enough to be at severe limits and cause damage. Also a severe thunderstorm wind gust in Martin County and also on the border between Reagan and Glasscock County. So we had some storms, gusty winds and rapidly dropping temperatures yesterday when the storms moved through the Midland and Odessa area. Temperatures dropped. 11 degrees in 12 minutes. So it goes to show that these storms can pack a punch since moved off to the north and east with, we do notice some background drier air and even some snow showers in the far northern parts of Texas and New Mexico. So if you guys want to go out to those ski areas, which I'll be doing in a couple of weeks, there's going to be some snow in the ground. And didn't really help out too much with the drought situation here in the basin with those storms. Only about a quarter to a half an inch at most in the far northern eastern basin. Still severe drought in those areas. So while it may have helped just a little bit, not really putting a dent in the drought monitor. Temperatures really not climbing much as I mentioned. 45 degrees low temperature, 29 degrees at midnight. Well below normal this time of year as opposed to 77 degrees yesterday. 45 degrees today and it's going to feel like the 20s because of those gusty winds from the southwest here in the basin but northerly winds are starting to come through fruition providing cooler and drier air on the back side so that's something that we have to watch out for as temperatures are going to dip into the teens and 20s tonight making it feel like the single digits but those winds are going to start to subside a little bit later in the overnight, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping throughout the morning, picking back up as we head throughout the afternoon in the 40s and 50s, and then dropping again once again in the teens and 20s, similar to what we saw last week. But those temperatures will be on the rebound as we head into tomorrow with much lighter winds, sunnier skies, and warmer weather. High temperatures in the 50s. That warming trend will be with us as we head into the weekend with high temperatures back in the 60s and 70s.